Hello Blitz fans, this is There Can Be Only One bringing you a gameplay uh, in the S35 CA. This is uh, the grind to the Falk. Uh, we just started this line, so this is low tier. Doing a little bit of seal clubbing. Um, but, you know, I don't always want to spend like my gold and uh, experience just to get through tanks, so I'll grind through them. Alright. Let's get this gameplay started. Of course, wearing mines. So, starting off, you know, I'm looking at what tanks there are, what the enemy tanks are, what we have, trying to see where the map is, where how we spread it out, and which direction would probably be best for me. Since I do not have a turret and I am a TD, um, I want to stick with the crowd, you know. So the heads are already went that way. I'm going to move along with them. So these low tiers, um, since you don't really have that heavily armored vehicles, right? It's usually the way to go. Not always. Like I said, it depends on what the tank lineup. You should always look at the tank lineup, see what's going on. Um, know these tanks. If you're new to the game and you know you're, you're at this tier and stuff, you know. If you want a better game experience and um, to help your team out, you know, learn these tanks. Watch some videos. There's plenty of good YouTubers out there showing videos on all these tanks. Um, Littlefinger is one. Um, Mizzi is one. Um, and Bushka, of course, has tons of videos. Um, but yeah, th these are all some good people. Um, also, if you want to check out. A friend of mine, Fizzy Plays, he's he's been doing streaming, so he's a real nice guy. So if you could, you know, check out his channel. All right, let's get back to the gameplay going here. I missed that shot. I put a, a shot into the M4. Now I see that SU's been spotted up. You know, he's out there camping, so I'm gonna sink a blind shot to him. Um, I guarantee that went in. The gun on this is pretty much accurate. Uh, for, for for the tier, it's got a really good gun. It just doesn't have any armor and it's tall, it's awkward. It's an awkward tank, so you don't really want to push with this. Let your team do the pushing and do most work. Um, I'm going to go ahead and clear this in four. And I was actually surprised of how fun this tank actually is to play. Um, you know kind of stayed off of this line for a long time so now I'm kind of getting familiarized with it oh that was a nice shot right there my day 20 so I'm gonna go ahead and push up on this B1 and go ahead and get them cleared because it's important to clear tanks you know. <laughs> and I missed right there uh, Oh, I was so frustrated with myself at that point. So I go ahead and I spin on around, go ahead and clear them out. You know, I am spotted, so I'm about to take a hit right here. As I'm pushing along, you know, I want to try to keep cover. There's the Crusader, he's done this spot. Let me get a shot to him. And if you notice, I'm not like facing directly for him. I'm trying to get anything to give me a little bit of an edge, like keeping that armor angle is uh, really good um, and you notice on that last shot I noticed there's someone camping way in the back who hadn't been spotted and there he goes he hit me again let's we'll see if I can't throw a blind shot in he probably uh, went behind the building after that shot you know I'm down to 112 hit points um, the, the team has cleared out quite a few um, the enemy team so been going pretty good. I'm going to go ahead and sink one into this SU. Cleared him. Now we're down to one. This SU-85 is the one that's been tagging me. I knew he was back there, so, you know, I want to keep my cover, use my camo, and I'm not directly pulling out to where I was immediately because I don't want him throwing blind shots because one shot for him and I'm dead. But I did wait for a minute, pull out, do a blind shot in hoping, you know, I can catch him. You know, you can do that when you're aware of where tanks.
tanks are and how they're playing. You watch them keep poking out. You can throw a blind shot in, and I've killed quite a few, you know, doing that. No TD spots, just throwing a blind shot in and taking them out. So I'm going to move to the other side now, just in case he decides to shoot into that bush. And I'm going to wait for this Churchill to kind of try to push up. Now, this SU-85 has done, went around. He is still full health. And as you see this Hetzer, he does not know what to do. This, he's, he's a tier four, and he's just getting wrecked. I got one shot into the SU, and, you know, I'm just trying to, you know, get as many shots, clear them. Didn't get the reload. That seems to happen to me a lot. And look at that bounce. That bounce was horrible. That should have went in. You know, that's RNG for you. You know, he missed, but he did not miss that time, and he got me. I was able to get a shot into him, you know, but he did clear me. Now, I'm going to show you something else. This is the Churchill. Tier 5, you know. Tier 5 player, and he still doesn't know how to control his tank. You know. And he's being over precautious because he his DPM's like way higher. The guy I almost cleared the SU. He's only like one or two shots for this guy. He should be pushing, you know. And he stops. He should be pushing him. I mean, he's taking a chance of like missing shots by keeping this distance and letting him get cover. You know, you can tell he just he has no clue what to do. And this is a big problem I see with the game now. You know. By the time I was at tier 5, I've done had 5,000 or more battles, you know, because I didn't rush the lines, you know. So you see a lot of this, them moving up too soon, too fast, and still not able to even control their tank. And as you can see that, you know, sorry I forgot to close out the game bar, but it happens. Um, I'm trying to tell him to use AP, he was shooting HE, I don't know why. Um, and just sitting out here trying to trade shots, luckily the SU-85 isn't that brave of a player either. Or they would have won. I mean, he was really lucky. I mean, that was beyond luck. So, you know, it's sad to see like Tier 5 basically, you know, like Tier 1, Tier 2. And a lot of tier five games are like this. And as you can see, I had, I got a, a first class mastery. If I could have got that last kill, I guarantee I would have got you know the ace mastery because you know I would have done over 2k damage in this tank. You know, I did get like top gun, you know, high caliber, um, cause legendary damage. You know, whatever these ribbons, I don't care about. Um, you see right here, I got four kills, 1,900 damage. Um, the SU-85, he did very well. He, 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 I mean, he was right there up with me. Uh, see, you can see he's a 50% player, uh, 8,000 battles. Um, average only 653. So he's playing a lot of low tier games. Um, but yeah, and there's Churchill. Look at this. He got that kill, but only did 91 damage. He's got 585 battles of victories, 44% win rate, uh, average damage 190 at tier 5. So basically, everybody has been carrying this person up through the tiers. You know, it's so, you know, if you're going to get out there, please try to play the game and, and learn it. You know, there's other people on here. You know, if you want to play a game and just have fun, you know, find a game that you play by yourself, play against computers and stuff. Don't, don't come out here and, and, you know, play and, and try to, um, just act like you're playing alone because this is a team game, you know, it's just a little bit respectful towards others. You know, you want to have fun, that's fine. Learn the game too as well. Well, this is uh, There Can Be Only One signing out. Thank you very much. Y'all have a great day. Be safe out there. And please remember to like, subscribe, and share.